Folks, you can't go pepper spraying people. You may actually be escalating a situation. My name is John. I'm the founder and president of Gentle Response. My team and I travel the country conducting very dynamic, realistic conflict de-escalation training seminars for churches, corporations, businesses, state agencies, law enforcement. And I found this video about a week ago over on Active Self-Protection by John Correa. Go over there and check out that, uh, that page, and I'll have a link to this particular video uh, down below. But he had posted this video of a clerk last year ending up pepper spraying a customer who had come inside the store and refused to put on a mask. Um, <laughs> when you allow yourself to get offended, like this clerk did, you increase the likelihood that you're going to say or do something to escalate the situation, like this clerk did. People in positions of authority will more likely and very often find themselves feeling offended when they feel and sense that their authority is not being respected or even ignored. Now, this is a very natural, normal uh, feeling and tendency and, and reaction by, again, people in positions of authority. But this is why it's so critical to take that deep breath, slow down, think about uh, the situation before you, and think about your options. As the video begins, uh, and it was sent in by the clerk to John Korea. Uh, over an act of self-protection, a customer walks in not wearing a mask, and you hear the clerk very calmly tell him, you know, sir, you need to wear a mask. The guy says he's not going to do it. Clerk tells him again, well, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to serve you. And now the customer takes on a real smart-ass, condescending tone of voice, and he emphasizes that he's ADA compliant, uh, as if that really makes a, a bit of difference because any business, private business, has the right to decide who they will and will not serve and, and conduct business with. Uh, it's at that point when the customer takes on this tone of voice that the clerk walks around the counter and confronts this, this uh, customer who's just standing there with his hands in his pockets. Now, up until now, he's not made any aggressive or hostile move, done anything aggressive other than to have a smart-ass smart, smart -ass tone of voice, and now he's just standing there with his, tone, uh, with his hands in his pockets. And a moment after the clerk approaches him, you hear the customer ask, is that real mace? To which the clerk says, oh, yes, it, in it is indeed. About that time, the a customer picks up his phone to start videotaping this very ag aggressive, antagonistic move by the uh, by the um, the um, the clerk, uh, and at that point, the clerk pepper sprays him and then shoes him out of the store. But it's not over yet, as you'll see in the video. Clerk walks back around the corner, excuse me, back behind the counter, and then he hears this lady screaming, yelling outside, and he again feels like he has to go and confront her, stands there at the door going back and forth with her. Now, even though he's got a calm tone of voice, per se, because he's just telling her to leave, leave, leave. The fact that he even went to go engage with this lady who's just beside herself, upset and angry, is escalating. Just shut up, stay behind the counter, and just call 911 and let the cops deal with the disturbance that she's creating. But let's back up. How could this clerk have handled this very differently? In the beginning, when this guy began to be a smart mouth and talk about how he's ADA compliant and all that, the clerk should, could have just simply maintained his composure, taken a deep breath, and just smiled at the customer and reiterated, I, I can't serve you. For one thing, the state will close me down and take, with, and take away our, our uh, uh, license if, you know, if I'm in violation. So, I'm sorry, sir, I, I can't serve you. Either A, after a while, the customer will finally leave and take his money and business elsewhere, which is great, or he'll put on a mask. Any time you have a counter or something, object, a desk, a table, or something between you and, and someone who's potentially aggressive and hostile, as in this case, you want to leave it there. But the clerk made the decision to go around and basically confront this customer. Now, John Correa says that he interviewed and talked to the clerk who says that he pulled this uh, spray when he thought the guy was pulling a gun. However, when you watch the video, you know that's not true. He, he most likely pulled and was holding that spray in his hand in a threatening, antagonistic, intimidating manner as he approached the customer, because within moments of him approaching the customer, the customer asks, is that real mace? <laughs> and moments after the guy is clearly holding a phone up to, to videotape, that's when the uh, clerk steps up and pepper sprays him. This clerk was initially arrested for assault. And for some reason, according to John Correa and all that, the prosecutor dropped the charges. I, uh, I think this clerk is very, very fortunate in that regard because um, I personally th feel he escalated and created an assault on this guy. Folks, 
it's very easy when you're in the position of authority to feel offended when you sense that your authority is being ignored or disrespected. Take a deep breath, slow yourself down, don't get all jacked up and all that. Stick with what you know. You know you can't serve somebody unless they're wearing a mask. Just stick. Hey, sir, you can't be in here. You have to leave. There is really no reason to go out there and pepper spray a guy who's just standing there with his hands in his pockets. And then on top of that, there is no reason to go and open the door and go back and forth with this lady who is upset. Very fortunate uh, this clerk didn't get arrested and, and face additional charges, but he definitely was escalating this situation by letting himself get offended by the attitude and behavior of this uh, customer. Don't do it. Don't go around pepper spraying people. Don't let yourself get offended. Hit that like and subscribe button.